Special teams are uh, you face a lot of good offense. Does yes. this one uh, maybe give you some nightmares of what they do? The yeah, I, I think this is the most skilled group in the SEC. I've, I've thought that for the last two years, and since everybody returns from the offense, a year ago, it hasn't changed my mind. Quarterback has got a, he's got a big arm. It's a live arm. He can throw it a long ways. He can throw it with great velocity. He throws it with great accuracy. Um, the receivers can all get it. I mean, they, they, uh, uh, they do it every week. They, they, 63, 75, 63. Um, big play after big play after big play. They got great hands. Um, they, they tested us a year ago um, in both loose and press coverage and, and, uh, and made us pay in, in both of those areas. Overall, was that one of the better weeks of performance that you guys had last week? I thought it was our best outing uh, as far as SEC football games go. I was proud of our kids. Um, I thought our preparation was, was exceptional. I thought the execution on game day was as high as it's been. Um, the, their, their effort was, was phenomenal. Um, when we graded it out, it was the highest that it's been all season. Um, we we fit and, and, and accounted for the quarterback for the most part. He got some, what I would describe as some cheap stuff uh, that came as a result of ad libbing and, and scrambles. But as far as the quarterback run game, we were where we were supposed to be and had him bottled up. Um, we, we 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 certainly gave our, ourselves a chance to win. Well, started with effort there too. Um, he, he played the most snaps that he's played all season long. I think he played every snap but two in, in the football game, which is unusual for a D lineman, but he was playing at that high of a level, and, and he, wa he wasn't slowing down. There was no lack of uh, uh, conditioning or, or, or uh, fatigue never set in. So I think he's just r r really dedicated to what he's doing right now technique-wise and, and, and what we're asking him to do within the defense, and, and I think the level of output are, are reflecting that. I think the Locks thrown so much, three or more touchdown passes in seven straight games, kind of a crazy stat. Um, do you hope that you guys can, can stop that streak? That'd be great. I'd love, to, I'd love to see that streak come to an end. But see, you got 38, right, on, on the season. That's a lot of touchdown passes, and, and uh, you know he, he spreads it out to a number of guys. I mean, they're three deep at the tight end spot, and they, they can all run. Um, yeah, that, that's that's something that we'd we'd like to see come to an end in Razorback Stadium. Absolutely, you know, uh, Coley and, and and Liddell split the reps. Basically, I think they ended up at 36 and 34. Or, or, or something very close to that number as far as gradable snaps were concerned on, on uh, Saturday. And it was fun to have uh, DeAndre back out there and, and able to spot us and, and run around and make plays. And, and we'll look to do the same thing Friday. Yeah, j just, just one play. I, I couldn't even tell you what happened to him. He was out one play, and then he was, was back in. Cramps. Yeah, cramps. And at, at the end, um, they, they tried to get him ready for, for the series, and, and uh, he, he couldn't go out of fear. He couldn't play full speed and, and do what we needed him to do. You got some seniors, especially on the back mm -hmm. end. I know you, you, weren't, you weren't here when they first got mm -hmm. here. How, how did you like your seniors and senior day? Yeah, it, well, it's a special day, uh, and it should be. You, you're going to have a lot of family that, that's not necessarily here every, every game day. Um, there's, there's a lot of memories uh, uh, built up over four and five years, and, and uh, that those are year-round memories. That, that's the sweat in the summertime and, and, and the work in the wintertime and, and, and all the games, wins and losses. Um, it, it, it goes so fast, and, and, and you tell your team that all the time when you talk to the guys, especially in the back of the room, the young players, um, how very soon they're going to be sitting up in the front. And uh, Now, for this particular group, it's here. and, and uh, uh, I've, I've only had them for two years, but uh, they're, they're a heck of a group. I mean, uh, work ethic and, and passion and, and, and you know, coachability, and, and they're a lot of fun to be around on a daily basis, and, and uh, we want to send them out winners. Uh, Sosa's in the last couple of games. What have you thought of how he's been playing? Out, outstanding. Yeah, he's, he's playing at a high level, and, and uh, I think he's playing within the defense, which, which is allowing him to play at that kind of level. And uh, the effort to go along with it has, has, has shown. Um, you know, that, that cause fumble that he had um, was, was, a, was a big play, um, obviously. Um, 
but but I mean it, to, to to make that play um, was, was uh, took extra effort and and and, and uh, well placed hand and, and and violent action. I heard on TV that uh, even with Crockett out, it seemed like their their running game is even maybe even picked up with the other guy. What do you think of their running game? Particular? Well, there's 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 no drop off in, in in our opinion. You know, uh, 21 has 822 yards. I, I believe it is. That's a, that's a lot of yards for for a guy who was. Uh, formerly the, the number two guy, and uh, 33 is a big, powerful runner. So, I mean, uh, no, no different than tight end. I mean, they were at least three deep there before, too. And, and uh, uh, yeah, the, they, they want to run the football as, as well as they throw it, and they're throwing it for 300 yards a game. They're running it for 200 yards a game, and, and, and those, are, those are large numbers. Well, I think confidence uh, when when you, you you get to a couple opponents and, and and get a couple wins and and then you get more confident in everything that you're doing uh, in, in all phases, you, you you begin to play at a higher level. Um, confidence is so important, and and uh, they, they've got it at the right time, and 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 they are playing very very well right now. People are talking about that. Yeah, they are. Oh, I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be aware uh, uh, of that. No, um, you know, 29 years of of, of, of being in it and and, and uh, been hired, been fired, and and been that way as a head coach, been that way as a coordinator, been that way as a complete staff. Um, you, you you do the best you can. You do it every day. You, you don't back off that. You don't change course. Um, I'm, I'm very fortunate to have a, a, a tremendous coach's wife who's, who's, who's been through it as well, and she gets it, she understands it, and um, she's able to block it out just, just as well as I am. And two grown sons that, that uh, you know, lived it playing for me when, when, when their old man got fired. So um, we, we come by it honestly and, and appreciate the fact that it goes along with the profession and, and, and you can't change who you are or what you're doing. Uh, oh, absolutely, uh, absolutely. Any uh, time you're playing for a piece of hardware, you're, you're excited about that. I think the combination of playing for our seniors and, and playing for a trophy that, that, that got taken away from us a year ago gives you extra incentive and motivation, and our, our, our kids are very well of, of what, what's at stake. Any more questions? Okay. Thank you.